Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We have an update about this evil man, Do Kwan, and how much he actually stole from Terra Luna investors. We thought it was $80 million a month, but that turns out that number would, was way underestimated, and that's just play money for someone like him. Because it turns out, of what we know, he stole over $2.7 billion dollars uh, in the months before Terra Luna crash. Now, that's just the amount that we know. There is a very good chance that there's three or four times that much that he actually took out. Remember, Terra and UST's crash took out over $60 billion. So there is a, every chance it could be in the double digit billions and the authorities just haven't found it yet and could never find it, especially if there's an extensive network to hide that money, especially if he teamed up with the Wall Street fat cats to actually hide all that money. So we know that he actually stole billions of dollars at least uh, from the investors. I think the punishment should be one roundhouse kick to the face for every million dollars he stole. Of course, they're not actually going to do that. But I really, this is like Bernie Madoff level stuff. And I think he should get the Bernie Madoff treatment, get at least 20 years in jail. Plus, they have to fine him at least $2.7 billion. That's just an inkling of how much he actually costs Terra Luna investors. That's like 1 30th of the value that he depleted from the crypto market. I do think you need harsh punishments for this guy. This is like much, much, much bigger than BitConnect. And, uh, you know, like some of those BitConnect guys did, well, I don't think any of those guys actually got jail time, but they need to make an example that financial crypto crimes like this will not actually be tolerated. Some people actually were still fans of Do Kwan from the lunatic crowd. Stop being fans of Do Kwan if you're from the lunatic crowd. It's obvious that this guy was a grade A scam artist. And if you're still a fan from him, then you deserve to get your money stolen because there is no way anyone should trust him after this fiasco and after all these details have actually come out. The more you look into it, the more scamish this guy is. So I think he was actually withdrawing Terra Luna almost from the very beginning to, to withdraw at least 2.7 billion. And who knows, man, there might be way, way more than 2.7 billion that he actually withdrew out there. And I think with this much money, there has to be a vast network of people actually working on this as well. And I'm definitely like, more like into the theory that he actually teamed up with the Wall Street fat cats and he on purpose dared them to attack his network because they had all this set up and he was already withdrawing money and he knew it was going to crash sooner or later anyways. So he basically like made, he basically cut a deal to make them make it crash so he can actually cash in and they're probably sharing the profits over a margarita in Singapore. But they need to get this guy and they need to put him in jail because he stole billions of dollars from investors and probably tens of billions of what we don't know. So let me know what you think about this. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.